So technology-enabled care has very strong evidence to support its utility in um, either for public health, so sending out a public message, such as the study that I just described. It also has been shown to um, improve um, uh, access to care. So um, you can... Um, so we, and we saw that really during COVID. So we were able to schedule all of these virtual appointments and maintain contact with patients, even though everybody was on lockdown. So we know that, and that's what we mean by um, telemedicine, uh, is we know that we can care for patients from far and maintain that contact without having to bring to, to bring them in. Uh, we also know that the use of um, mobile health, so the use of smartphones to uh, support people in their journey, also has strong evidence to support it. So people with living with diabetes or any other long-term conditions, including cancer, can uh, access a, um, an app on their phone, receive advice, they can report side effects, they can um, measure their their vital signs, let's say, and also report them via the app. And again, that's what we, we what we refer to as telemonitoring. So maintaining that uh, continuous um, care with the patient between appointments. And then if uh, there is anything that is being reported that the, uh, about the, reported from the patient that is alarming, then we can have a proactive approach. So instead of waiting for their side effects or their concerns to become more complicated, if we see those reported early on, then we can um, intervene and um, um, uh, address uh, their uh, their side effects without them needing to come in or without needing them to be hospitalized. So there's so many applications for technology-enabled care. And I mean, other things, you know, a subset which also needs to be discussed is the use of artificial intelligence and big data as well to design systems that help us identify um, alarming symptoms early on. So for example, I'm I'm now um, conducting a study, it's a cross uh, pan-European study about using artificial intelligence for um, making uh, diagnostic um, approaches more, um, more, more sensitive. Uh, so, so for example, let's say the use of chest X-ray for uh, uh, the early diagnosis of um, uh, of cancer. Usually, chest X-ray is not a very sensitive approach to pick up um, uh, cancer. However, with the use of the big data and with the, with the use of um, machine learning, we can devise platforms that are that are sensitive enough, perhaps, to detect cancer early on. So there's so many applications for using technology, and we are starting to see it. We are starting to see the increased integration uh, within care, but we have a long way to go, definitely.